Volkswagen is Europe's largest and one of the most beloved car companies. They're known for building reliable, high-quality cars that aren't quite in the luxury category, but are near enough. There's something strange about VW, though. Although they offer a pickup in many other global markets, they've never sold one in North America. This is a strange strategy considering that the US market buys more pickups and trucks than any other market in the world. But this is all about to change. Join us as we explain everything you need to know about Volkswagen's all-new electric pickup. Before we explain what the Volkswagen CEO has just said, we need to understand Volkswagen's strategy. Volkswagen recently announced that they have acquired the iconic International Scout brand. The International Scout was a popular pickup in the US from the 1960s to the 1970s. Volkswagen plans to revive the Scout brand and make it an integral part of its strategy to increase its presence in the North American market. This strategy is working for other manufacturers. Ford revived the Maverick nameplate from a discounted history. Toyota will soon revive the Stout pickup from its archives to compete with the Ford Maverick. In a few years, Volkswagen will introduce a new Scout pickup truck model to the booming electric pickup truck market. That is Scout, as in the international Scout you may remember from long ago. This new model will be an electric vehicle emphasizing off-road driving. It'll share a platform with an SUV variant. The Scout, according to Volkswagen, will go into production in 2026. At that time, it's expected to compete fiercely with models like the GMC Hummer EV and Rivian R1T, as well as up-and-coming vehicles like the Jeep Wrangler EV and Toyota Tacoma Electric. The company is looking to resurrect the iconic nameplate from the International Harvester Scout, an off-road vehicle similar to a Jeep from the 1960s and 70s, and fill a similar niche to the F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, and the highly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck. Johan Denishin, the head of VW America, said he would like to see a product like the Rivian R1T, but at a $40,000 price point instead of $70,000. Bringing the price down for EV ownership is one of the main goals for most manufacturers, and at this price point, it'll be one of the lowest priced pickups on the market. Unnamed Volkswagen sources have now said the proposal appears to be moving forward. If authorized, the plan would introduce Scout SUVs and trucks to the US market in 2026, with a long-term goal of 250,000 sales per year. This is a later entry than many others in the growing market for electric trucks, which are primarily hitting the road this year. The GMC Hummer EV is just beginning to reach the general public. Rivian's R1T has been available since the start of the year, along with the Ford F-150 Lightning. Although these pickups are available in the market, they are challenging to buy at a price close to their MSRP. But the Hummer is entirely over the top and in a class of its own, while the F-150 is aimed more as a full-size work vehicle than an off-road truck. Therefore, Rivian is the closest competitor to Volkswagen's planned Scout. Initial sketches of the upcoming model showed beautiful outlines of a pickup and SUV. Still, the firm has released an official trailer of its first concept car. The image shows the all-electric pickup and SUV's front end. Like the previous design sketch, we can see a boxy outline with a squared-off hood, chunky off-road tires, and plenty of ground clearance. The teaser is shown on Scout's new website, and its bold new design gives off a stainless steel exterior look similar to that of a less angular Cybertruck. With rumors that the Cybertruck is finally nearing production in 2023, the Scout may arrive on the market a couple years after the Cybertruck. The new Scout EV brand will be exclusive to the American market and a brand new addition to the Volkswagen Group portfolio. Additionally, according to Volkswagen, the Scout would run on their own platforms. We have no idea at this point how Scout will structure its various configurations and trim levels, but Car and Driver have stated that we think it will fall closer to the mainstream end of the segment rather than the luxury side of the spectrum. Although Scout still needs to provide information regarding the truck's powertrain, it should come standard with all-wheel drive thanks to front and rear electric motors. It might have a different 1,000 horsepower than the Hummer. However, it will probably still be fairly fast because, like many other EVs, the electric motors deliver torque instantly. Car and Driver also mentioned that the Scout pickup will need over 300 miles of range on a single charge by the time it debuts in 2026 to be competitive. There's yet to be any information on the size of the battery pack that would make this possible, but Volkswagen has stated that it intends to display Scout model prototypes next year, so we'll be learning more about this pickup truck very soon. While we patiently await the Scout's arrival, Volkswagen has updated their Amrock pickup and made it bigger. 
but they've decided to keep this for international markets again. The logic behind this appears mysterious to those on the outside looking in. It's mind-boggling to try to understand why Volkswagen decided not to introduce the Amarok truck to the market that buys more pickups than any other in the world, the United States. Volkswagen has said that the new model will be produced in South Africa and sold in Australia and New Zealand and other countries in Africa, the Middle East and Europe. If the new Amarok were to be sold in the United States, it would be classified as a mid-size pickup, despite being bigger than its predecessor. To give you an insight into the dimensions of the new Amarok, it's 3.8 inches longer overall than the previous model, but 0.8 inches shorter than the 2023 Ford Ranger. Unsurprisingly, the 128.7-inch wheelbase of the new truck is the same as the Ford's. Both single-cab and double-cab models will be available, with the four-door having a bed that's 60.8 inches long and the two-door having a bed that's 90.7 inches long. The maximum width between wheel arches is 47.5 inches. According to Volkswagen, it can tow up to 7,700 pounds and carry up to 2,550 pounds, depending on the specification. The Amarok will be offered by Volkswagen in a wide range of trim levels to reflect its lifestyle and utility truck use. It comes with a 10-inch touchscreen that's portrait-oriented. LED headlights and adaptive cruise control will all be included in even the most basic models. Although the Ranger and Amarok share many parts, such as column stocks, the Autobox gear selector, and several small switchgear items, there are also significant differences, such as the dashboards. The Ranger retains physical function buttons, whereas the Amarok adopts a touchscreen climate control used in other current Volkswagens. According to the WSJ, the Scout brand has been spun off into its own company with an initial investment from VW of up to $1 billion, followed by additional investments from other investors and may even be listed as a separate stock. Since the Scout would not share a platform with VW's other EVs, but rather have its own platform designed for off-roading and higher ground clearance, this funding would likely be required for new manufacturing facilities. VW currently uses the MEB platform for its new electric vehicles, but the Scout would mark a departure from that platform. Now, we can only talk about pickup trucks if we talk about the Maverick. The Ford Maverick is a fantastic pickup for those looking for true truck functionality, but in a smaller, less expensive package. The Maverick's popularity among buyers is well-founded. It's simple to drive, easy to park, offers excellent fuel efficiency, and can complete tasks that other cars in this price range cannot. Toyota and Nissan are also entering the compact pickup truck market with a Toyota Stout and a Nissan probably under the Datsun brand. America's compact pickup truck market has seen tremendous growth in recent years due to the increasing demand for more efficient and affordable vehicles. Compact pickup trucks offer the perfect combination of convenience and practicality making them a popular choice for those who need a reliable and budget-friendly vehicle. These trucks are perfect for running errands around town, hauling small loads, or even camping. Ford pioneered the resurgence of this segment, but it's shaping up to be a very competitive one in the near future. Should Volkswagen bring the Amarok to North America? What do you think about their plans to bring back the Scout pickup? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, Toyota, and tech news.